Hi, today you'll be drawing a timber joint called a butt joint. Two pieces of timber simply butted together. Side on it would look like this. Looking from the end, you could sketch it like that, but it's not the best way to view it. This is a pictorial drawing or an isometric view, an exploded one on the right. So let's get started. Have a dot, grab a splat, draw a line out the right and the left side. Come halfway up the center splat to a little mark that I've put halfway. Let's draw the end of the piece of timber. Copying the long line, copy the short line starting from there, come down. That's the end of the timber. So I'm drawing three lines from these dots using the right splat. Keep the splat straight up and down if you can. Now, if you want to make the timber longer in this direction, then I'm going to use the right splat and just extend them out another splat length. So it's a long piece of timber, but I'm going to break it. That symbol is a break mark. It means the timber's long, but I couldn't fit it all on. So the end should be roughly on the splat angles. The end grain would show the growth rings of the tree in a pattern that looks like that with some rays. Here's one possible way to show the edge. And on the face, we'll draw some little grain lines. That's the simplest way to do it. All right, so the piece of timber underneath, it's butting up against it. I'm going to go from that little blip down, which gives me one splat length. Same from that point, straight down. Decide how thick you want your timber, put a mark, and come down one splat length. So the bottom now of that piece of timber should be roughly your isometric angles of the line up with the bottom of the splat. I'm drawing a guideline, then I'm drawing the brake symbol over the top. Add a little bit of grain. Grain always runs along the timber. Anyone can make these drawings, but it does take a few practices. I'm showing you now, if you wanted to make an exploded drawing, then I'm going to extend this piece of timber. I'm redrawing the bottom. Now I'm cutting the top off. I'm going to erase those lines using a piece of paper as a shield. So I'm only rubbing out the lines that I want to. So I'm copying the long line and the short line, and that is the end of the piece of timber coming straight up. I'm going to draw a different pattern for the end grain on there. Now, what about if you wanted to make a really quick sketch? Eventually you want to um, be able to design using really quick sketches. So I'm going to use the splat to get my angles, draw the end, take some lines back, do a few fix-ups if you don't get it right. And um, there's my other piece of timber. Again, until you're really confident, use the splat to get the angles right. And then a few little end grain marks. Here I'm using some lines to show the uh, edge that would be in shadow. And it kind of helps the 3D look a little bit. Mix up your grain marks. And if you want to make it stand out a little more, or you wanted to fix up your lines, you could use like a 0.6 that I'm using here. I'd do the drawings in a 0.4 felt tip. Uh, so what about if you wanted to tidy it up a little more, you could use some pencil. So I would run a pencil lightly all the way through your drawing and then come back where it's shadow and darken it up a little bit. Also, use the brown to draw in your grain lines. I'm making that look a little bit different, the end grain to the face, just by darkening it up. Go right around the edge of your drawing. It's called a cutting line. So here I am again, lightly through the light, darken up the edge, grains uh, in brown, and a little bit there a little bit of brown right around the edge. You could use that instead of the black texture line if you didn't have a black texture. There's my break lines. And Wooshki. A true exploded drawing uses these dashes to show where it would line up on the other drawing. Let me know in the comments below what types of timber joints you would like to see drawn. Thanks for watching. Bye.